Hi everyone, I'm Sivanameen from Shishya Tamil Public School. Now I'm going to show you how to make a QPod app. So for making this app, you will need to register yourself in this website called code.org and continue with your Google account. I have already registered and I have continued with the Google account and I have signed in myself. So now let's go to the project. So this is the QPod project I have made. Yeah, now it has come. So when I uh, open the project, I will be seeing three tabs whose names respectively are code, design and data. For this QPod app project, we won't be using the data tab. So now let me tell you about the code and design tab. Code is the tab where you will be getting these data, controls, variables. These are the different codes, the set of codes. So for this app, We'll be only using the codes from the UI controls. So these are this is the code I have done. In the design tab, you will get these many elements. So you need to drag and drop it into your uh, into the screen. I'll make the screen a bit big. You can make it like this a bit big. So I have added two image design element, one on the one on top of the other. I've also added three buttons and I have, have and I've named them. This one is the next button. And instead of text, text is what will be visible. So if I type T, the T will be visible over there. So I don't want any text over here. So I leave the text uh, blank. And then if you scroll down, you will get the option image. So here you can choose the image. I'm, I don't want to do anything, so I go to the icons, which is the code.org code .org has by default, it has some icon and here they are. So I have chosen an icon which I want over here. So I've done all, the, all for all the three buttons, I've done the same. So now let me tell you about the coding and a bit about this over here. So this is the code. So you can see this hide element and show element I've added. So these are to make an uh, image or a button unvisible from the screen, like hide it. And the show element is used to bring it back. And these, this on event is when the button is clicked. When the button is clicked, what will be happening? So I, that's the use of on event code. So in the on event code, you will be used dragging and dropping a stop sound code and a show element and hide element. I'm, I'm using uh, in each on event, show element and hide element because when the song is playing, I want the GIF to be dis displayed. And when the song is not playing, I want the normal image to be displayed, which means the song is not playing. So after I do this all for the three buttons, respectively, I do it for the three buttons now. Now let me test the code, whether it's working or not. So you might ask, what is this arrow for? You can see it in the stop sound and also in this play sound. So this arrow is called, this is called a parameter. If you click this, it will stop all the sound. You don't specifically have to men mention the sound which has to be stopped. So I have done the parameter, I clicked it. Now also you may ask, what's this false over here? And yes, I'm going to tell you about that too. So you, the, the use the use of true is like the song will be repeating once then the time of the song if the time is 10 seconds after the song plays fully it will repeat again from the starting so that's the use of true and I have set it false because I don't want it to be repeated I want the song only to play once so now let me show you now I'm going to use, click the play button let me set the sound to full you can also change the color of the buttons as per your wish. You can see this over here. See the background color, so you can change the color by clicking it over here. And wherever you touch the cursor, the color will become. I, wa I want the play button to be the green color and the forward button to be in yellow and the pass button in the red color. So let's test the app we have coded. So now I'm going to play a song. See the image has changed. 
The song that we play now is iPhone 11 Remix. It has started to play. And the GIF is also displayed here. I'm going to go to the next song. Which is the Believer song. I have set for the on event on the next one. And now stop all the song by clicking on the stop button. And also you can note the change over here. That the GIF is gone when I has press the stop button. So that's all. This is your QPod app and this is your code. And this is the screen where you will be getting what you code. Thank you.